Hey everyone, I'm Granholm, welcome back to Let's Play Demon's Crest. Let's go back to this uh, sunken Parthenon area, if I can actually manage to get there. Instead of swooping right by. Eh. So, hopping into the water for a minute, because I, I don't like those skeletal flying things. Not super concerned with money at the moment. Which makes it odd that I have the crown talisman selected. But, uh, we could go through this door that I just unblocked. But we're not gonna. Ugh. Skeletal bird poo. It's the worst. Alright. So, we're actually gonna go in where we went in before? No health. Drat. Darn. I was trying to combine drat with darn there. They don't combine well. Fine. So... I'm going to switch over to the Skull Talisman, because I kind of want some more health. And uh, we're going back to where we got initially attacked by that mud monster thing that wouldn't open its dang eye. But... We're going to go up to where it came from initially, to see if it was hiding anything, like this rather conspicuous statue here that might hold a life extension. Maybe. Maybe. And dropping back down, getting hit in the face by an axe bro, never a good time. But it's fine, we're at full health. Yeah, whatever. And then, going over here, there's this rather conspicuous pool. Something that, I don't know, maybe a, a tea gargoyle might be interested in. And if we went through here, we'd get back to that uh, door that I unblocked. But, no. It's just, it's way too covered with spikes and enemies, and I don't want to. There's literally no benefit to getting back there. And the T-Gargoyle's controls are terrible. I can't say that they're the worst, because... Well, they're not. But they are terrible. I I really prefer if the T-Gargoyle's um, swimming, like his swimming controls, were basically the underwater equivalent of the hover controls. Because the hover controls work perfectly. Well, not ex I wouldn't want exactly the hover controls. I'd want the uh, flying controls for the aerial gargoyle. For the A-Gargoyle. The A-Gargoyle. Because I know I've complained a little bit about them, but even with those complaints, they work fine. This whole off-brand Mario swimming doesn't work quite as well. Because there's no way to affect how much he bobs up when he swims up. And, well, in these narrow passages with spikes, that's kind of important. Uh, on to the next area of the underwater, spike-filled, horrible place.
And this area, well, basically you just kill the merfolk before getting into their room, I suppose, by bending the bullets around the pillars. They're curving the bullets, that was the term. And you have no problems. No problems at all. Even these guys who... Like, they're right at the edge, and they look like they can't be hit, they can be hit. So never let anyone tell you, you can't hit someone. Wait, that's a terrible moral. Uh, kids, ignore any morals I say. That's a much better moral. Ugh. Okay, this guy's being annoying. Ugh. I was trying to turn around there. Why wouldn't it let me turn around? And over here we get... an ocarina! It's probably more of a conch, really, but... I, I don't want to listen to this guy talk. Oh, and I'm switching over to the hand talisman so I can shoot a bunch. So, this is what this guy does. This is exactly what this guy does. He has brown goo go into the water, and he vacuums and blows. That, that is the extent of his actions. Yeah, he's not that difficult of a boss. If you'll notice, he's already getting discolored. And I win. Because this guy is a joke. He is a joke! And his conch just sort of dissipates and I get another life extension. This level is kind of, kind of generous with those life extensions. Alright. Time for an area I am not a fan of. Well, more specifically a boss I'm not a fan of, but you, you guys will see. Oh, you guys will see. So heading along here, switching over to a useful weapon. And... Actually, why was I about to go aerial? I've got the claw. I suppose I ought to be smashing these things. I suppose. And back over to the claw. <laughs> yeah, I figured there'd be more spikes on the walls. But, uh... Oh, and if you're worried about me missing something because I didn't start out... Uh, with the smashing of bone piles, don't worry. I didn't. And, you know, just... Going along through here. Don't worry, our second time through this area is going to be a lot faster. Well, not this area. There will be no second time through this area. But, this level in general, second time is going to be way faster. With much less switching of uh, forms. Well, much less switching of forms for the first part of it. Th 
this area gets a little bit... Well, not this area. You guys know what I mean. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stop talking, because you know what I mean. Switching over to Ground Gargoyle, who's like, Oh crap, I don't have wings! And we definitely want to get up there. Which is difficult for non-aerial gargoyles. But you know what occurs to me? And there we get the final vellum. Which would be more exciting if vellum actually was any good. Like, most of the spells suck. We already know that. And this guy... This guy right here... He's something of a pain. Ugh. I don't like him. Come on, doggy. Give me room to fall down and smack you in the face. More room than that. I believe I've mentioned I don't like this guy. Because, really, the only way I know of to beat him involves lots of cheesing. And whenever he goes green like that, he's temporarily invincible. And he goes green like that every time I hit him. Jump. Thank you. And I'm already down to two hit points. Even with all of the boosting that my hit points got, like my maximum hit points got during this video. I'm gonna go equip another, uh, another ginseng just in case. Ugh. Have I mentioned I don't like this guy? I especially don't like that in the ice level here, ice physics kind of apply to the walls too. I mean, see how I'm drifting down there? Who am I? Who am I supposed to be? Mega Man X? Uh. Would you mind jump not that direction? I kind of want him to jump because then I have better time to kind of get down here and smack him in the face. Unfortunately, this guy His attack patterns are not conducive to a healthy, um... Ha 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 That was close. To a healthy state of mind. Especially with how often he likes to jump over my attacks. Well, this is handy. You know, I'm not going to complain about this. <laughs> Getting to smack him three times before he retaliates. And I wasn't going to jump down there. That was just... That would have been begging for him to smack me. Ah! Uh, why must you jump over my attacks? Why must you bounce off of walls that clearly are not there? Ah. <sighs> And yeah, he can be as he can be green for pretty much as long as he wants. Which usually is long enough for him to come up and hit me. Oh, that's right, I already have it equipped. <laughs> uh 
So this guy, not a fan. Not a fan. Come on. No, don't jump like that. Who do you think you are, Chun Li? I suppose Chun Li was created by the same company. Uh, I was hoping you'd turn non-green a little bit sooner. I have no idea how I did not get hit there. So in addition to being a really difficult boss fight, if you're doing it with any intention of winning, it's also a really boring boss fight. Because, well, you get to hit him once, and then run away, and then hit him once, and then run away. Like I said, not a fan. Would you cut that running stuff out? Yeah, jumping is all well and good, provided you give me an opportunity to actually hit you. Which that clearly was not. Alright. So, come on. No! Jump from there! Yes! As you guys may be able to tell, he uh, sort of hun hunches down before he jumps. Uh, I can see him changing colors. That just makes me want to hit him more. Because clearly it means that my attacks are affecting him. And I don't want to risk this, because touching him hurts me for three. And that's just, that, that's, that's no good. I'm going to equip that other one just in case. Ugh. Blasted mutt. Come on, make it easy for me to hit you. So I, th I think when he's green and over to the side like that, what I need to do is wait for him to be not green anymore before I attack again. Like that. Problem there is, at that point he's bounding toward me. Which means I need to get the timing pretty good. So, yeah, yeah, how do you like this, huh? How do you like it? Not implying that he's been doing this to me, it's just... I'm asking how he likes it, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm being neighborly. And... Evidently, we've gotten to the cheesiest part of the strategy against him. Didn't he used to have blue fur? Come on, guy. Jump. Jump. I mean, one of the dudes from Criss Cross is dead. So, in his honor, jump, jump. That those, those, were, those weren't jumps. Those were runs. I apologize to anyone who got offended by the uh, crisscross dude is dead joke, but I'm a fan of the black humor. Ah! Dang mutt! Come on, dude! We both know I'm gonna win this. Yeah, like that.
What you gonna do about it? Huh? And I got the piece of the fire crest called Demon Fire! Ah, <sighs> that was... That was kind of annoying. So... As you can see over here, the final boss's lair has been revealed. And we might go there sometime soon. But not right now. I'm Grant Hall, see you guys next time.